So I don't think anyone expected me to show up um, again so soon. But here I am, and I'm going to explain some shit, okay? So uh, this morning I woke up, <clears throat> and I found out that somebody unsubscribed to my channel. No surprise, right? I kind of expected something like that was going to happen. Um, but at the same time, somebody also liked the video, right? Somebody liked the video. And somebody unsubscribed as well. So, and I highly doubt it's the same person that did it, but whatever. I'm assuming it's, it was two, you know, two people. Either way, they make no difference because my point still, my point will still remain the same. Um, you can't please everybody. You're gonna have people who who are gonna like you, like what you do, and you're gonna have people who don't like you and don't like what you do. You're gonna always have both. Sometimes you might be more surrounded by people who don't like you than you are people who do, but it doesn't always mean, like, in, in the bigger scale of things, that everyone's going to, to view you that way. And, um, and so this is where I would always be very conflicted with sometimes. Because on one hand, I would say things like, well, I don't care about the superficial likes and stuff like that, and I, I mean everything I said. But at the same time, I would say, like, I, I needed support. Where was my support? Blah, 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 right? All that stuff. Um, and it might, to, to someone who doesn't understand the context of what I'm saying, <clears throat> uh, they don't understand the context of what I'm saying, they're going to think that they're the same thing. They're not. Uh, one is I don't care about validation. Validation is when uh, you... You know what you're saying is true. You come out and you say what you're saying. And then when nobody is there to tell you that what you're saying is true, you then retract and feel <clears throat> like maybe what I'm saying isn't true. Now, I'm not saying I have never felt that way before. But I, for the most part, I didn't. Uh, most of the time, I was just confused on whether or not I was saying things the right way. I knew what I was trying to say. I knew where I was coming from. Uh, and I didn't care if somebody agreed with me or not. I just didn't know if I was being understood or heard for what I was actually saying. Because people wouldn't talk and, you know, whatever. People didn't like any of my stuff, really. <clears throat> and um, and I always took that as a sign that I guess nobody understands, nobody knows, nobody cares, nobody, you know, whatever. But then I would find out later on that some people would show up later and say, you know, well, uh, I have been watching your stuff, and it always confused me, like, okay, well, normally somebody that likes your stuff usually supports the person that, that they're getting something from, but for some reason doesn't. I mean, it just doesn't make no sense to me, you know? To this to this day, it makes no sense to me why, why certain content, certain types of videos that are out there that literally offer no substance gets more attention like literally it could be just a photo a video of a tree and that gets more likes and att attention than a video that although you may not agree with you know at least you might make a comment on it and say hey I, I agree with this and this but I don't agree with that and that or whatever no like I don't understand it you know it never made any sense to me but uh where I was conflicted was it was where the part where I cared was where I really just wanted to be around people that were like-minded I didn't need to be validated. I just need, needed to know that I was with some someone or surrounded by people who understood where I was coming from. Again, it didn't make a difference whether or not they agreed with me or not. Uh, it just, you know, I could say stuff and they would understand me. I was not surrounded by those kind of people at all. But you know one thing I also don't do that I know a lot of other people do? Um, I don't take one thing that somebody says or one thing that somebody does, run with it and assume I know their entire personality, you know, and I certainly don't go around, uh, you know, backstabbing this person by telling everybody else, you know, oh, be careful of, of this person, this person believes this or thinks this or I don't do any of that shit. People have. Other people definitely have done that uh, to me, uh, but I don't do that to people. He, he, there's people that I know right now 
that are on my friends list. You, you, some people have said things to, at some point, pissed me off or hurt me or whatever, and I never got rid of them because I understand that there's more to their personality. You know, there's more to the picture. Now, when I feel that, you know, that whole person's personality is something that I can't be around, then yes. But I tolerate a lot of people in their BS because of the fact that I know that nobody's perfect. And because of the fact that I know that, you know, again, just because you don't like one trait of theirs, you know, if if overall there's still a very good person to be around, like, so what? Like, we're all going to have different differences and different things about us that we're going to like and not like and whatever. And, you know, that's, that's the whole point. Uh, anyone who knows me, I don't know if I said this already, but anyone who knows me personally knows that the last video and videos prior to that when I'm all fiery and shit, I don't talk like that all the time anyways. <laughs> I really don't. I'm usually pretty calm. I'm very, usually pretty collective. But when I start when I start talking about big picture shit, that's when I get fired up. When I start, you know, and I will I will mouth off for sure. Uh, but you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, that's all I gotta say. You know, there you go. <laughs>